Hey, what's up? This is Seth from retipster.com. Wanted to let you know about a, a cool thing I discovered not long ago. My wife and I went on vacation to Cancun in Mexico. And while we were in Cancun, we spent a lot of time laying around at the beach. That's what my wife loves to do. I, on the other hand, I'm one of these people where my brain always has to be engaged with something. I have to be like thinking about something or doing some kind of work. So I was kind of starting to go crazy. But then I remembered when I was at the beach there, sitting out and burning in the sun there's this app I heard about called Blinkist the idea behind this app is that they take these really popular books mostly like self-help business kind of books at least that's the kind of stuff that I always read and listen to and they have this team that will scour the entire book and put together what they call blinks these blinks are basically like the most important parts of the book so you can kind of like skim through it really really quick in like 15 minutes tops and get through the whole book and these are put together both in written format and in audio format so if you want to just listen to what they have to say you can do that that's what i chose to do or if you'd rather just read and like skim through it really quick you can do it that way too i think you do kind of miss something here when you don't actually read a book in its long form or even listen to an audio book and hear everything that that author intended to say i mean it's just inevitable that you're gonna miss out on some of that if you choose to take in the blinkest version of the book as opposed to the original unabridged version. But still, I gotta tell you, like something in my line of business that I hear all the time are book recommendations. This happens a lot when I'm interviewing people on podcasts. People will say, hey Seth, you gotta check out this book, it's great. And thing is, like, I believe them. I'm sure it is a great book, but like, I just don't have time to sit around and read books all day. I mean, first of all, I'm a really slow reader, so I usually choose to listen to audiobooks when I'm working out or driving around. And even then, I mean, the average audiobook can be like eight hours long. I mean, that's a long time. Even when you're listening to it at like 1.5 times or even two times the original speed. If that's the only way I'm able to consume a book, it's just not gonna happen. Like I just have way too many things on my plate to do that, which is kind of a tragedy. However, that's where something like Blinkist comes in because yes, it's true. It's not quite the same as reading the original book, but the alternative is I just read no books and nothing new enters my head in terms of stuff that highly qualified professional authors have put together. So it's kind of like a happy medium that like for somebody like me, it's kind of a huge deal. When I was sitting there in one day at the beach, I didn't just read through one book. I didn't just read through two books. I read through 22 books. This one, and 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 this one. You get the idea. The average one of these books would have taken me probably like a day or two to read through myself, or even like four to eight hours if I was to listen to it through like audiobooks.com or Audible or something like that. And I can tell you, like I legitimately got a lot out of each one of these summarized books that I listened to. So it's not like it was just like a throwaway. I actually walked away with a lot of incredible insights that I otherwise just never would have gotten if I hadn't listened to the Blinkist version of these books. The best way I could describe Blinkist is it's kind of like listening to somebody's summarized notes if they were to just like write them out in a very clear concise organized fashion or just read them off to you and you're kind of listening to their key takeaways from the book they do a pretty good job and even the, the narrators for the audio portion which i listen to a lot are all really good as somebody who has listened to tons and tons of audiobooks over the years I've come to learn that the voice of the narrator can kind of like make or break the experience of listening to that book. If you got somebody with a really annoying voice or somebody whose voice, I don't know, I just don't want to listen to for eight hours, it can really detract from my ability to focus and pay attention and listen to what that book has to tell me. But all the narrators I heard on the Blinkist app were all like really, really solid. None of them annoyed me or got in the way. And maybe it's because each one only lasts for about 15 minutes, so I never even really had a chance to get annoyed by them. But I gotta say, they do a pretty good job. I was impressed. I think Blinkist is great for probably like 80% of the books out there that you're mildly interested in. 
but you don't like really, really, really care if you get every possible detail. You just want to get the key takeaways. That I think is the perfect fit for Blinkist. However, I will say I actually took the time to listen to Blinkist's rendition of a couple books I've already read in their full length. One of them was How to Win Friends and Influence People. The other one was The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. And I can confirm I did actually get a lot more out of those books when I read the whole things from start to finish. But again, like if you're a busy person and you're just not gonna read it any other way, it's a great way that Blinkist can take these legitimately awesome books and find a way to fit them into your life when you otherwise just wouldn't consume these kinds of books. I can also tell you something really interesting that I wasn't expecting. When I was listening to Blinkist's version of How to Win Friends and Influence People, I actually walked away with a few new takeaways from that that I had never even picked up in the original book when I read it. And I think it's because I'm one of these people where when I read stuff, like if it's not really, really engaging or if my brain isn't sharp when I'm reading it, I kind of like start to glaze over and miss stuff. But when I listened to Blinkist, I was able to pull some new stuff out of it that I had never gotten before. So I think that's another thing that some people may kind of overlook, but for me, I actually got a lot of value out of that that I wasn't really even expecting to get from a book I had already read years ago. If you're someone who's a huge fan of like the 80-20 principle, like just getting the 20% of the book that's most powerful and ignoring the other 80%, it kind of falls into like the fluff category. I don't know of a better way to get that than through something like Blinkist. Because for me, the thing is like, I generally don't care about the fluff in the book. And I think if we're honest, we can all admit there's a lot of fluff and a lot of books out there where people spend chapters and chapters just like laying the foundation of the subject that you already know you're reading about or telling stories that are you know somewhat relevant but i don't really need to hear that story to get the point you know like you can just come out and tell me like i don't need to hear pages and pages of narrative that doesn't really matter i'll also say when you're listening to or reading these blinks from the blinkist app you need to stay engaged do not zone out it's okay to zone out here and there in a long form book because it's not nearly as concentrated of an experience but with Blinkist, I mean, you're kind of drinking from a fire hose in a way. And if you start daydreaming for even 60 seconds while the narrator is reading the summary of the book, I guarantee you, you're gonna miss something important. So if you're in a place where you can't pay attention or if your brain isn't in the right spot where you're ready to focus and listen, then don't do this until you actually have the time and the mental energy to dedicate to absorbing that material. For me, there were actually a lot of full-length audiobooks that I had just kind of given up on because I got bored with them or the narrator was too annoying for me to handle. And Blinkist really breathed new life into those books for me. Books that like I thought just kind of weren't good, they were actually awesome. It's just that the delivery of the message through the particular audiobook I was listening to wasn't the best. And Blinkist was able to kind of put a new spin on that and redo it and help me to take in this content that I otherwise just kind of thought wasn't good or wasn't worth my time. So in summary, I think Blinkist is an awesome resource that you should definitely be aware of. I won't say it's for everybody. Some people really like reading just for reading's sake. But speaking for myself, I do not. Reading is usually pretty painful unless I'm intensely interested in the subject matter. And even then, if there's a faster way to get that in my system that doesn't take me hours and hours to read through, I'm totally gonna take that path of least resistance. So if you're anything like me, if you're short on time, if you're short on attention, if you just wanna get through a book as fast as possible, check out Blinkist and see if they've got that book on their system. It could be a much better way of getting through that. And to be clear, this is not a paid endorsement. Blinkist is not paying me to make this video. I do not have an affiliate relationship with them. I just wanted to put this together because I thought Blinkist was super, super helpful. And I thought you might enjoy it too. Thanks for watching. Talk to you next time.